hello everyone welcome to my channel and today you guys i have a few products i want to show y'all i got them today there's probably going to be a few um hauls if you're wondering i've i've had some i told y'all i had to go to the dentist so if you're wondering what's going on with my lips it's okay it's fine everything's good it's way better than what it was okay but anyways you guys let's go on to this haul because I'm very excited because I got some things that I really been wanting to have. And I've got, like I said, I got um, a few more things. Well, tomorrow is going to be one thing. Then next, I will have a couple more things. Then I'll have my sheet in. And that's going to be it for a while because, y'all, I got some good info. I guess I'll start out with that. Um... I just got a letter stating that there is an available apartment. However, it's one of those things that I'm very excited about and I'm just going to pray about it for a day or two, possibly the weekend, and pray about it and make sure it's the right direction. I am on wait list at many places. Um, however, this one came available. Um, the only thing is the vehicle. The vehicle situation is very important. So y'all just keep me in your prayers and I'll probably do a chit chat video talking about it a little bit so we can talk more because this is just a haul video. Okay. So yeah, I'm just showing y'all what I have and then there's going to be more haul videos. Well, a few over here. But if you want to see my sheet in haul, it'll be on my Sheila Shemay channel. Just saying. So if you're interested, then stay tuned. All right. So as y'all know, I was talking about the Hard Candy uh, Just Glow Matte Bronzer and Mango Butter. I love this. I have this on right now. It's so natural. It was absolutely I feel like this bronzer actually was made for me. Like, it's so natural. But it gives me enough bronze that I like for an everyday bronze look. And so, when I looked at it, I said, mango butter. That's why I really got it. Because I said, this must be smooth. It has to have some good benefits. I talked about it in the makeup look a little bit about mango butter. But I'm going to talk about it again just in case... Um, some of you might just be watching this video and haven't watched my makeup look video, but I have to recommend this bronzer here by Hard Candy. It's the Just Glow Matte Bronzer with Mango Butter. Amazing. Amazing. Mango Butter. I, I've never <clears throat> used Mango Butter that I know of unless it was in some products that I didn't look up. Okay. <laughs> probably, I probably have used this product and just didn't realize it. But anyways, you guys, let me get to the benefits of mango butter, okay? Mango butter contains vitamin A. It's an antioxidant that stimulates the skin's natural renewal process. Okay, if anybody know, I'm going to stop right there for a second. If anybody know, y'all remember me using that L'Oreal Renewal Cell uh, Process or Cell Renewal Serum. Y'all remember that? If you have watched my Sheila Shemay channel, you will know. Um, that product is so good for the skin. It buffs off rough skin and it just replenish your skin. And I, I have been all over the internet, even in, on sites that I didn't even know of that, that has that video. And I'm very proud of that video because I did a review and I really expressed how good that product is. It's really hard to find that product. You have to basically go to Amazon or sites on um, online to find that product because they still sell products. Uh, the L'Oreal, um, what is it called? Uh, it's a specific name. It's called the L'Oreal Skincare. Just know it's the L'Oreal Skincare. Okay, but anyways, y'all. I talked about that product and my video got all over the place and I'm very excited about that video. So when I saw this, I was like, you know what? Re sale renewal. 
oh my goodness that's what i need because y'all i love to use anything that helps buff off dead dry skin okay we need to do that we need to do that um not real often but as often as we can probably once in a month or two times in a month probably um because it's really good because it'll just buff off that skin and then if you wear makeup it's going to glide on very nicely and also your skin is just going to be glowy and beautiful and looking its best when you buff off all of the that um old skin cells so yeah mango butter does that okay so mango butter would be a good moisturizer to put on the skin whether you use it at night um or if you like to use it underneath your makeup it's okay i i feel like it's okay but you have to try it I, this is my first time actually trying this mango butter as moisturizer now another reason why i got this product i'm gonna sh tell y'all the product I've got scars like, I wouldn't say like crazy, but I do have scars after moving to this apartment. I used to have like only two or maybe three, about two minimum scars from when I was a kid and falling and stuff, but they were very small. You could barely tell. And even my um, scratch marks wasn't too bad. Like, no, they wasn't too bad. Um, you could see them, but they wasn't bad. So after me gaining weight, uh, the stretch marks, of course, gets bigger. Just like the scar that I've had right here, where I had surgery back when I was like 18 or 19, I think. Um, yeah, that scar has gotten bigger because I gained weight. Another thing is um, there were some... Um, bug bites going on um that bit my left part of my leg like there's spots on it and then look at this right here this is from the bites from the bug marks reason why i can truly i already told y'all that but i got the proof of it through a biopsy of my skin so i know for a fact that this came from insect bites and i knew it i knew it and i told y'all i said y'all i feel like my couch that i sleep on is infested with bugs um because i could go to sleep wake up in the morning and i have spots on my skin and i said okay only there's only a few things that could cause that okay so i've got these scars right here y'all see them on my arm my left arm and i got scars on my left uh, leg as well a little bit on my right but not too much and then i've just had surgery on my left leg um i had to do a vein process and i'm very happy because i'm feeling better than ever and i can tell a difference when i walk already an instant change okay it, i can imagine in a month or two or more down the road how well i'm gonna feel i feel so much better but i'm just looking at you know what can i do to uh, renew my skin what can I do to help these scars and uh, get my skin as beautiful as it was before walking into this apartment so mango butter it renews the cells so when it renews the cells on the skin it's going to basically take off the dullness take off the rough stuff remove it and your natural skin cell process is going to just renew right on top of the skin. So I was thinking, oh, I can use this on my face. I can use it all over my body and get my uh, cell process uh, pumped up. Because like I said, with collagen, collagen is so good for the skin as well. As we get older, our collagen level uh, decreases 
that's why we start to get wrinkles or we start to see signs of aging because when we're young, the collagen level is very high. And a lot of things is very high when we're young. That means everything, the vitamin level, all that is so good. But as we get older and we've been through some things, um, everything kind of slowed down a little bit. Okay, and then you start to see like what's going on, like my pores and this and that. Okay, so it's good to use something that's going to help uh, renew the cell, the skin cell process and that we naturally, that we naturally, that we naturally produce. Okay, we naturally have this process where our skin naturally renew itself. It can naturally buff off stuff. Um, it's just that when we get older, we need some help with it. Like it's doing it all the time. That skin cell process is doing it all the time. It's processing all the time. But when we're older, it, it slows down. It's not as fast or quick and smooth as it is when we're younger. So I thought I would get mango butter after uh, getting that bronzer. It's, I'm so happy I got that bronzer because I did not know mango butter do all this stuff. Let me finish telling y'all some more. It improves, mango butter improves the skin's texture and elasticity. Okay, the texture, oh my gosh. Okay, texture, if you have textured skin, like your skin look bumpy or just looks, you know, like your pores is all clogged up, Mango butter is going to help out with that. Okay, the elasticity means tightness. You know how we get older, our skin get looser. And so mango butter is going to tighten up the skin a little bit, give us some elasticity. Okay, so that's like more and more help. Okay, upon help. Okay, and then mango butter protects the skin against damage caused by uv radiation so that means like sun damage like if you're a person that have always been outside you know whatever you may do you can cause damage to your skin you don't see it when you're young but when you get older it kind of shows okay but another thing is I want to say this, and I've said it in so many videos. I had many break-ins into my apartments everywhere I moved at. Everywhere. Everywhere. And I know for a fact that my stuff was tampered with. Like my foundations, my skincare products. Uh, my um, It's so disgusting when I think of it. But people were using my makeup. And they were coming in my home. So there was a lot going on as far as, I know that this is a haul video, but I'm giving y'all some info here because I like to chat over here as well. Um, so people was putting things in my stuff. And then I would put that on my skin. And I remember creating makeup videos. And now when I look at it, I go, oh my God. I did not know because I didn't think people would... I had the feeling and I did have like signs of it. And all I could do was report it to police officers. But I remember putting on certain products that I would get that would be brand new, but I would put them up for a while until I get ready to actually use the product. And then sometimes I would use the product scrape like as soon as I get home and then I could use it another day. And notice that my skin would start burning and stuff. And I was like, y'all, let me take this off. It's burning my skin. I thought my skin, well, my skin is sensitive. But I thought it was just a sensitive skin reaction to the product. But really, it was stuff that was put in my products. But anyways, you guys, if you are a person that have been out in the sun and you got some sun damage, we all got some sun damage because we are out there in the sun, whether it's on the arm or whether it's on, you know, whatever part of the body because you know when we get in a car we're we're anytime we go outside we're getting um uv radiation type of thing going on because from the sun okay just from the natural sun so this right here is supposed to 
help with the damage that the UV can do to the skin. So that's also a good thing. So this product is so good. So y'all, I did not know this product was this small. It was only $5 and some change, but y'all, this is not going to last me, but probably a week. Okay. So I'm going to have to try to find something a little bit bigger than this, but this is called the I don't know if it's pronounced okay, A or okay, a uh, pure naturals mango body butter, deep moisturizing. Um, it's great. It's a great skin moisturizer. So it has the mango on the side. It looks like this. I got it from Amazon. And so I want to open it up and see what it smells like, you guys. I bet it smells great because uh, I know mangoes smell wonderful. So I'm going to open this up. It says open right here. And see what it smells like. Because I've never used mango butter. I've used shea butter and I do love shea butter. Shea butter smells amazing. I've used cocoa butter and shea butter for years. Um, mango butter, I don't know. I'm thinking that I probably have with like some uh, hair care products most likely had mango butter in it, um, but I couldn't tell you if for sure. For some reason, I cannot get it open, um, and I don't want to tear it up. I don't want to tear up the container, so I can't get it to get loose, y'all, here. But anyways, just know that this is mango butter and I will be putting this on my face. Whether I, I, I might just put it on at night. I don't know. I, I'll try it underneath makeup as well as just at night and see what it does for my skin. And I will put this all over my body as well for my daily moisturizer just so that I can kind of get that uh, uh, skin cell renewal process to speed up a little faster and help out with the scars that I have on my body. So yeah, and then also on my face as well. So yeah, you guys, I got this here. Thought it was going to be bigger than this. I don't never look at the ounces or anything, but it's okay. It's for me to try because, you know, even if I don't like I don't know how the smell of this is. Even if I don't like the smell of it, I can always, I'm going to still use it. I can always use it and yeah, because it's going to benefit my skin. So I'm going to use this product regardless, okay, of whatever. But I'm thinking mangoes always smell good. So I'm thinking that this is going to smell good and yeah. I'm going to use that product. I'm excited to try it because all those benefits that it has, oh my gosh. And there's more benefits to mango butter as well. I did find a site where there's other benefits to the mango butter. I just thought I'd do a quick, like, you know, get right to it type of um explanation of mango butter and what it does for the skin but if you look it up there's so many benefits it's great for maturing aging skin which i've already mentioned um it's um an antioxidant um it really gets into the skin layer the layer of the skin um it's just so many, y'all. You just have to look it up. It it just helps out with so many things. They have two powerful vitamins, which is vitamin C and E. Um, it's infused with antibacterial and anti antimicrobial. Y'all don't know how to anti. <laughs> I'm trying to pronounce it. Antimicrobial. A N T I M I C. R O B I A L uh, properties. Um, so that's really good. If you have eczema, and I do, eczema every so long acts up on me, on my legs and my neck. So 
uh, mango butter is good for dry skin and eczema because it has that antibacterial type of property. It helps out with uh, wounds. Like I do have an, two open, two or three open wounds here where my vein was, um, where I had the surgery. So it'll help heal the wound um, and repair the damage and cracked skin where my skin has been open. Um, so it's so many, it helps out with scratch marks and scars, just so many, many things y'all mango butter does. And I'm glad I got that bronzer. I think that was just God just had me cause y'all know I'm a hard candy cosmetic fan. So when I saw that, it said new matte bronzer, um, hard candy cosmetics, mango butter. I was like, I don't know. I have not tried mango butter, but I'm going to get it and try because I like hard candy cosmetics. This, I feel like is going to be really good for my skin. Not saying that cocoa, uh, what is it? Cocoa uh, butter or coconut butter is not good. Co coconut butter is good. I've been using it for years and that kept my skin looking amazing, radiant, beautiful. But right now my skin has been damaged. And I'm not speaking about the medical procedure. No, I'm not complaining about that. I'm talking about other things. Um, but I feel like this is going to be really good for me to help out with my skin. And I could be even more confident showing my swimwear or my fashion pieces. Yes. Okay, y'all. We all want to keep ourselves in. We want to take care of ourselves. No matter how old we get, like, let's take care of ourselves. Let's be as beautiful as we can be, even as we get older, okay? We can, we're, we're, we can still be beautiful just because you get older don't mean you have to just let yourself go. No, okay? Keep the maintenance up and look your best at whatever age you may be, young or old, okay? That's my thing, okay? All right, now I'm going to show y'all a few things that I got here. Um, I think I want to show the purse. I'm really anxious to see the purse first. Um, this purse, oh my gosh, they didn't have the pink one. They only had the blue one and I was wanting both of them, but this is the, um, I don't know how to pronounce this. It's like a peacock purse. I'm not going to give the exact name of it. But this is what it looks like in package, y'all. Ooh, look at this. So cute. I know some of y'all probably saying, it's not the season for that. Well, I don't look at what season is for what season or what thing. If y'all know me, then y'all know me. Y'all know I don't look at that. I look at what I like. Um, so if I want to return this, I have to keep this tag on. But y'all, this is a nice size bag like look at this isn't that gorgeous like they had a pink one but they didn't have one available they were all sold out so they only had this one here so i got this one and then in the inside go ahead and take out everything because i probably uh start toting this purse immediately <laughs> Look at the inside of it. Like you got some pockets in there. Look at all that space and room. So yeah, you guys, I mean, I got two pockets in there and I got all this space and I am just truly, honestly happy with this bag. So yeah, I got some new clothes and got a bag. Okay, Sheila, you can slow down now and get your car and get you an apartment because you got a lot of stuff now. <laughs> So, um, yeah, you guys, I love this purse. It's so cute. It's like peacock design, but I'm not, I don't have a purse like this in my collection. So, and it's very sturdy. So I know it's going to be very nice and it's good quality. So very excited about that. And let's go on to shoes. Yes, I got a couple pair of shoes. Um, and this stuff was on sale. And I will list um, 
where I got this stuff in case some of you might want to check it out. But then again, I certain things I just don't like to give away because y'all listen. <laughs> I'm not stingy. It's just that when I mention where I get my stuff, when if when if and when I want to reorder, everything is sold out. <laughs> so it's like, uh, should I say where I'm getting this stuff or not? Because when I go back to shop for something that maybe have been out of stock and it gets in stock. When I go back, it's like, when are they going to restock? I've just mentioned everything. So it's one of those things, y'all, I think about it, but we will see, okay? All right, so this is one pair of the shoes. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> Oh my God, these are so cute. Now remember now, I am a size 12, but I got these in 11 wide. So I can wear 11 wide. I just can't wear 11 medium. But look at these. <gasps> yes, rainbow shoes. These are called, let's see. That's how I feel. I feel like a rainbow. Like I feel like I've been through so much that every day it's a rainbow for me. This is the pump multicolored. Um, that's all I see. It's pretty much on the, probably the receipt is at the bottom of the box. But anyways, you guys, look at those. Isn't those gorgeous? Like y'all know that a lot of times my clothes are like neon and very vibrant anyways. Um, especially now that it's summer, these are going to look amazing. And I'm going to learn how to walk in these heels, y'all. I want to learn how to walk in heels. Now I can't have big long heels. Like this is the probably the highest i can get because of my balance problems but i've always wanted to wear heels you guys and now that i'm having my surgery i feel like my feet is not going to be as swollen i know it's not going to be as swollen and so i feel like i'm going to be able to walk in heels better than ever but y'all tell me that they that these are not gorgeous like look at there the rainbow colors is on the heel as well just a nice pair of pumps here y'all with different colors you can wear this with so many different um pieces so yeah you guys these are absolutely gorgeous and it's pointed toe i don't mind pointed toe heels um i think that's classical and y'all know how i feel about classical shoes i do like classic shoes and i think i like it because bless her heart my mother used to buy like these like we used to go to thrift stores and she would get like, um, really like, yeah, I don't want to say antique shoes, but they wasn't the style, you know, they were like older, like shoes and I would try to play in them, but my feet was bigger than my mom. Even as a kid, my mom had very small feet and I had very big feet. And so I would put on her shoes and walk around and play school and, um, yeah, I think I just kind of like the old school style, like the small heel. She used to wear a small heel and I'm just used to that is what I'm saying. But y'all, what comes with this is if the, y'all know how sometimes this part right here comes off of a heel, um, they do give you replacements. So you can just add a replacement to the heels there. So these are in 11 wide so just saying yes your girl have really big feet i get that from my daddy my mama has small feet i think my mama was a size i think my mama was a size six or seven i can't remember i think she was about a five or a six y'all and i'm up here with a size 11 12 feet but anyways i get it from my father but uh, here is another pair of shoes. And they're the same uh, style, just different color. This one is in, um, I don't want to say the name. No, I didn't even know that was the name. 
Uh, no, I don't want to say the name because I don't want nobody to, you know, take it the wrong way. But anyways, guys, I do have the replacement little heel thing in there. Just letting y'all know before I show y'all. Like these little replacement things that you can add on the heel. But this is those. This is these. Okay. Look at those. Oh my God. Like leopard print on the back, on the heel, and then cream in the front. And it's pointed toe. So it's the same shoe, just different colors. And so this is also an 11 wide. Look at this. <laughs> so cute this is gonna go with so many things y'all know how i love my um basic color type of clothing i can see myself wearing these with uh pants as well and jeans i feel like these are going to be pretty with a pair of jeans so you don't always have to dress up with heels it's just how you put stuff together and i feel like i'm gonna really like that because i'm at the point now y'all i really want to dress up i really want to wear the clothes i've been buying all this time i'm ready to wear them and i just want to have shoes sometime to wear with them to really fix it up for certain um certain places i mean i can't not everywhere i like to dress up but certain places i would like to dress up but y'all look at these heels okay look at them so cute okay so cute so those are my shoes y'all and I'm going to continue getting shoes until I get a whole lot, lot, whole lot of shoes because I don't know. I want shoes for any and every outfit because I have a good bit of clothes now. I can, I can truly say now I have a good bit of clothes. Um, will that stop me from ordering from Shein? No, but I can go down a little bit as far as how much I get. So now it's not like, um, it was a priority at the beginning because I didn't have no clothes after everything that happened to me as far as people stealing from me and all that and what happened in my life that I want to think about right now because i'm in a happy mode i feel like everything my life is getting back in order and everything but you know i've been through a lot and so at at the beginning i needed a lot of clothes so buying a good bit of clothes is what i needed so i did it um and have done it and so now i feel like now, girl, you got a good bit of clothes. Now you can kind of look at some shoes, some sandals, and things like that to match certain pieces and all that. And now you can, hey, when you want to dress up, you got clothes to dress up. Or when you want to put something on cute, you got some cute clothes. Or if you want to be casual, you have casual clothes. I'm getting the everything. I'm getting casual clothes. I'm getting dress-up clothes. I'm getting all kinds of stuff because this girl... Is gonna be dating at some point, okay? Yes, okay. And I'm not gonna be stuck in the house like forever. Just saying, okay. I'm getting out of here. All right. So now, um, so this is the interesting part, okay? So, all right. I want to say this straight up, so no one get the wrong type of thoughts, okay? I have been wearing extensions and wigs for a long time because I have been on a hair care journey. Um, my edges or the side of my hair is thin and it's starting to grow back. I'm using good products right now, I feel, that is helping me on my hair care journey. If you don't know about that, check out my Shilisha May channel. There is a actual video where a company sent me some hair care products and I just came out and said, listen, I'm on a hair care journey. I like extensions. I like um, having, like, I like wigs and stuff like that. So it's a part of my journey. And so 
I got me a few more wigs because the thing about me is my style changes as I, I guess you could say, as I buy clothes. Like, I don't stick to one style. I love my hair here. I get so many compliments from this hair right here, just the colors here. Um, I've heard even one person say, you know what? I tried to do what you have. And I saw her hair. And, and, and she was like, you know what? I couldn't do all the colors. I wish I could. And she was like, that would cost a lot. But she said, I just love how you put the colors underneath here. How it's how this particular piece has the colors and then it has the blonde and then you have dark roots. She really liked it. And so I said, listen, I said, I'm on a haircut journey. And so my style changes all the time. I wear this for a while, put this on. Then as y'all know, I'll go to something else and then I go to something else and then I go to something else. My style never stay one way. I'm constantly changing style. And that's why I said this was meant for me to do, which is fashion videos. This is, this is just where I really should have been from the beginning because I really do, um, change style and her her styles and things i've been doing that for years okay before doing youtube however start makeup was like my platform it's like where i started that's where i began but fashion is where i belong okay because i love different looks and i want to say this I do. I think I have a video where I show that I have um, braids. I love the braid style. I love. I love all kind of styles. Okay, like I said, I've worn extensions. I went from extensions to wigs, and I just love different hair looks. I love to look different for different looks, like different clothing pieces. I like that and I have been like that for a long time because when I was younger I used to just wear my hair up in a ponytail or a top notch or whatever you want to call it top notch and so when I got older and I started the extensions got popular and stuff like that so I started exploring with hair and just doing fixing my hair in different ways and I just love the fact that you could just change your hair and have a completely different look and i have done that okay and um yeah and so i've got different stuff here um just three right here for right now and i feel like they're going to be amazing and going to look awesome to have different looks pertaining to different clothing uh pieces that i show y'all and um yeah it's, it's 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 a part of me these 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 looks is a part of me and who i am so yeah i just thought i would put that up front so no one would say oh my gosh no listen i've got a video on my makeup channel when i first started and i had braids when i graduated from school I had braids. I did my picture, my class pictures in braids. And everybody was like going crazy like, ah, some of my teachers liked it. It was very unique. And I took them out for graduation, but I wore braids, okay? So, yeah. All right, you guys. So, let's get into... Uh, this is not the one. Let's see. Let's get to the other one. So I thought I would just let y'all know that because I don't want nobody getting mad at me because I can show that I have had these styles naturally done to my hair. And I, I want to say this real quick. I, my mama braided my hair all the time. And also, I had an auntie. She would braid my hair. I would go and spend time with her for a whole summer or at least half of the summer. And she would braid my hair in so many beautiful styles. And 
every time I would come home, people would be like, who fixed your hair? Who did your hair? So braids is a part of me and that's my culture. And so, hey, I'm going to do what I feel like doing because I just like different looks. I'll go back to this. It's just going to be just different looks, different styles for different fashion when whatever i feel like putting on for the day or whatever look i'm going for for the day that's what it's gonna be okay all right so here's one right here um oh my god i've been wanting one for a long time and i've been holding out on it because i was just like i don't know like i don't know you know I just don't want nobody to think that, you know, I'm being rude or mean or anything. It's it's a part of my culture, too, okay? Just saying. And I just absolutely love this style. So I'm taking a loose the... So this particular style has... And I'm going to put it right back in the uh, protective knit here. It has the, uh, it has bangs, and it has, they give me a wig cap, which is good. Is there anything else that they give me outside of the wig cap? No, but I do get a nice wig cap with it, and so... Oh my god, this is gonna be so pretty. <gasps> y'all look at this. It's braids. Braids, y'all. Oh my god. This is so cute. I remember getting my hair fixed. And this is just so beautiful. I can't wait to put this on. Oh my god. This this just kind of brings me back to when I was like <laughs> 16, 17, 18 years old and this was the style and of course even younger than that like this this is how my mom used to fix my hair and braid it up so yeah you guys like look at this it's so pretty oh my gosh okay now i'm gonna show y'all the front so the front has a bang to it so it has a little bit of a pop to it that means it has a bang a braided bang in the front there's the bangs in the front y'all oh my god i am excited to put this on oh my god like it's bringing back so many happy memories and wonderful memories and y'all this is so cute and it's long um and it's gonna be it's not gonna be hot it's somewhat thin like so i feel like it's not gonna be too hot for the uh summer months so y'all look at that isn't that gorgeous uh tell me that that ain't gorgeous like look at that so gorgeous so i'm excited to um, put this on for you guys and wear this for a while um, because that's just me. I like this just, I don't know, this just made my day when I saw it. I just thought about my mom and I thought about it takes time to fix your hair like this and, and y'all trust me, it's not easy uh, like braiding and all that stuff and you think about your mom and you think about how in the world did they do that um my daughter hair texture is different like i don't i didn't have to do this um but my mom had to do it for my hair and so when you do braid anybody braid i give y'all props because that can really be tough um on the hands give out you get tired but it's so pretty the finished result is always amazing so i'm trying to put this back into the actual um the little 
the wig wig uh net that they gave me here so yeah you guys so cute i love it so that's one of them and i'll fix that better in a little bit okay and i have another one here yes another one this one is a different color this one actually has a little blonde to it and it doesn't have a bang so and by the way uh they do have names here but like i said i'm not mentioning where i got this um because every time i go back there's nothing available so I get tired of that, y'all. But then again, if this company were to, you know, want to give me something free, of course, I will then mention all of this that I'm saying. I do, um, I have a wig cap for this one. It probably fell out of the box, but I'm pretty sure I got a wig cap in here. Let's see. Right, here it is. Yeah. I do have a wig cap for it. So, this one came packaged just a little bit different. Um, as you can see, this one is a little lighter. This is more like a brown with a little bit of, I think it's mahogany. Is what, no, this is not mahogany. This is brown. It's like a 430, the color 430. Some of y'all know the color. It's, it's 430, the color of this. And... What color did they describe this as? Yeah, it's in the shade 430. The color is 430. So, as you can see, it's a lighter brown with a little bit of red. It's like brown and red, but slightly red, not nothing too bold. So, it's more brown looking with highlighted color of brown on the end that has a little mix of red to it. This is more like my natural hair color, but mine was had a little bit more blonde. So it's sort of more, this is going to look real natural on me. Um, but my hair was a little bit more blonde. And then in the front, you guys, this one goes, is braided to the back, as you can see. And then in the front, you have the baby hairs in the front. Y'all see that? The baby hairs right here. The baby hairs. Yes, you have the baby hairs there. And these are absolutely amazing, y'all. I know I'm going to love this, especially with, with the fast pace of what's going on in my life right now. Like um, me having to get on transportation service and trying to get up and get ready. It's like, it's really tough, especially when you're going through like, you, you're you're going through some medical things and you're having a lot of appointments which i'm not disappointed in that because i want to take care of myself but it is somewhat like it's good to put on something or be able to fix your hair really quickly and not have to worry about trying to think oh my gosh let me fix my hair let me do this because some i'm always going to try to look my best even without makeup i want to still look good but y'all this is absolutely gorgeous and i love it and it's going to be quick and easy to put on and this is going to be pretty with some of my fashion pieces so stay tuned okay all right happy y'all i'm very very happy i have to put everything up and get it all uh together so i got one more piece here um this one happened to be just curls like a regular uh this is not like braids um but it's absolutely adorable and this one you can straighten I don't know if you can get the curls back. I didn't really read it that far, but I know that the model had, I did get a, another wig cap. Um, the model had straightened hers. Um, they showed it curly and straightened. And so this one is a regular, is this a lace front? Yes, it's a lace front. It's a T part. So y'all look at this one. So cute. So I saw it with, with it straight. It's beautiful and it's, it's beautiful wavy. So y'all know I'm going to keep it wavy 
um, probably for a long while until I feel like, you know, I've worn it a little while and then I'll go straight with it. But you can straighten this. This does take heat. Um, I forgot how many degrees of heat. It's heat friendly, Futura synthetic wig. Um, so yeah, this is in the shade 43786A. Um, the cap is size average. So this is beautiful. This is really, really like my natural hair color. This is more like how my real hair color is when I was younger. Of course, when I got older, my hair got a little bit darker and it's still more, it's more blood on the sides and stuff, but y'all get the idea. This is like my natural hair color and that's one reason why i got this wig is because it is so natural to my it's just so similar to my natural hair color so i think this is going to be gorgeous because you see the little uh bits of blood in there you see the red you see the brown so this is how my hair is naturally okay and even the waves if i put uh, moisturizer in. I get these waves. If you don't believe me, check out my Sheila Shemay channel. You will see it for yourself. Or look at my Instagram account. You will see um, it's shorter, but you can see the similarity with this wig. So I got this because it is so similar to my real hair. So y'all, I believe that is it. Yes, it is. that is it for this a particular video um remember now i will have some a few more things coming um and just know that there's two more coming like as far as hair um just stay tuned i'm not gonna tell you everything but there's a few more things coming and also, uh, tomorrow, I will show y'all something that's very spectacular. I think it's really cute from Amazon that I got. Um, and then, of course, Shein is coming very soon because it's very close to this area. I should be receiving my package there. But, however, Shein haul will be on my Sheila Shemay channel, not over here. But all the other products that I get, I will haul over here for you guys to take a look at. So I hope y'all enjoyed this interesting haul. It wasn't just clothes. It's not clothes. It was shoes and her pieces, or you can call wigs, whatever you want to call, but they're wigs. But, you know, um, yeah, I just want to amp up what I already got. And, like, for certain pieces, for certain um, times or certain days or whatnot i just want a different look um however i always tend to stick with whatever i like so you'll see this again you'll see those and you'll probably see some several several other uh wig pieces in different times and frames but just know that i'm happy i'm truly happy um, and I'm just excited because I just, I don't know, just, I've been through so much and I know y'all get tired of me talking about this, but it's, this is just how I feel. I've been through so much and I'm going to doctors and things like that. My schedule has been loaded with appointments, but I know that I'm like getting things corrected um, that wasn't caused by me, okay? Or things that were done to me, the abuse. But as I'm doing these things, I'm, I'm getting, I'm feeling an emotional recovery because anytime you get abused or you've been hurt um you know to get through it is hard okay so when you do feel like you're recovering from emotional uh pain or physical pain i for me it's both okay and as i'm 
every day I wake up, I'm thanking the Lord that I'm feeling like myself, like I'm getting up in, in the morning, waking up early. I'm uh, ready to, you know, get a good night's sleep when I at my regular time instead of staying up all night. Like I'm getting back to myself and it makes me feel good. And I thank God every day. And so while I'm um, recovering and everything, I'm also getting back things that were uh, taken, taken from me by people. People robbed me of everything. Um, so I'm getting back those things and also, you know, add in a few things. Cause y'all, I used to have a whole, like two bags of wigs in my closet that was brand new and people stole them. And, I, and trust me, they was not cheap wigs. And I always had a wig just in case I want to change my look, in case I wanted to be a brunette, in case I wanted to go back blonde. Look at my Shimmy Shim channel, you will see. And whenever I wanted to re retouch my wig or get a new wig out because I've worn it, I had one. So it's so much, I'm getting back things that I always had. Um, however, it's said that I have to buy these things. Um, but I hope y'all understand what I'm saying is that I'm feeling better. I'm happy. I'm getting things that people took, try to take away from me and they did take away from me, but the Lord is blessing me to get these things back. And so, but much more beautiful. Like I never would thought I would have like really like elegant dresses and stuff like that in my closet. So I got even more beautiful things than I had before. However, what I had before wasn't nothing wrong with those clothes. I mean, I didn't, I wasn't even thinking about buying clothes at that time. I had so many clothes. So that's what I'm starting to get to right now. It's like, girl, you know, you got a good bit of clothes. You can slow down now. Okay. You got enough clothes to do you now. And then for your channel, you can kind of slim it down just a little bit and you don't have to buy so much because you got a good bit going on. But as far as hair pieces and stuff like that, I'm always going to be buying hair. I'm always going to be buying skincare products, okay? And I'm always going to be buying some inexpensive makeup. When I see it, when I see a product that I like, and as y'all know, I love inexpensive makeup. Of course, I'm going to pick up a few things like that. But just saying, I'm going to share my hauls over here. I am so happy, if you can't tell. I'm so excited. I can't wait to try on these new pieces. They look absolutely amazing. Um, and they're going to be so quick and easy to fix. And that's what I'm looking at. This is going to be so easy to fix. And I can't wait to show y'all my other two that's coming. Uh, my other two... Uh, wigs that is coming and also um, yeah my Shein and then tomorrow my Amazon and y'all yeah, that'll be it that that will be it I don't have anything else that's coming for this month and I feel like it will slow down as far as stuff that I'm getting because now it's time for me to get me a car um that process is so good we'll talk about that in another video because this one is already an hour long so you know it's like girl but yeah i want to say thank you to all of y'all for watching if you like this haul please give it a thumbs up i think it was educational as well and then y'all got to you get to y'all got to get to know me a little bit more and yeah give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and stay tuned for more videos and i will see y'all in my next video lovelies please take care of yourself many kisses kindness love joy happiness all that good stuff for everyone and may god bless all of y'all and i will see y'all my next video Take care, y'all. Bye-bye.